Hi everybody, this is Father Moki Hino coming to you from the Chicken Coop at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Wailuku, Maui. Today is Thursday, April 25th, 2024, and this is Chicken Chat. Uh, we begin this week by saying thanks be to God, Cora is back in the office. I am very grateful and the first thing that she did was replace the staples in the Xerox machine. So you'll notice that last week, uh, Sunday, you all had staples in your bulletins. Thanks be to God. Uh, we also continue with our book study on Falling Upward by Richard Rohr. We have two more chapters to go. We gather on Tuesdays at 4 o'clock in the afternoon in St. Matthew's Conference Room. When we're done with the book, we're going to take a break while Dixie and I are on vacation, and then we'll come back and discern what book we will grapple with next. We also continue with our Bible study on Wednesday afternoons at 4 p.m. Last week, boy, we had quite the gang. There were 11 of us uh, in the St. Matthew's Conference Room studying scripture, and uh, that was really great. The toilet in the parish hall has been fixed. Uh, I haven't gotten around to putting a sign there that says hold the handle down all the way until it's finished flushing, but I'll get around to it one of these days soon. Uh, we also remember, please have uh, Zippy's tickets uh, that we're asking you to sell. Uh, Dixie and I have been the beneficiaries. We, we bought our share and then we bought some more uh, because we like the breakfasts, we like the cornbread, we like the Portuguese bean soup, and we love the chili. So we've been uh, going down to Zippy's quite a bit to partake. Uh, this past weekend, uh, we had very, very nice services. Uh, we had about uh, 13 or 14 people out in the courtyard, including a, a couple whom I had married three years ago. Uh, they, they live on the continent and they were here on Maui visiting and they came by to say hello and worship with all of us. And uh, we had another full group on um, Sunday morning and I apologize to all of you I was uh, I had a really bad sinus infection that morning and so right after church I went home uh, which was bachi for me because the evangelistas came to celebrate Haley's birthday and I'm told there was an absolute feast in the uh, parish hall and I wasn't able to partake. I am feeling much better now. All it took was some uh, nasal spray from lungs and I'm completely unclogged and ready to go. Also want to say thank you to uh, Cora and Larry and their family for putting together the Kaohana kitchen meal uh, after church on Sunday. I have a feeling they made their specialty the Korean hamburger because I saw uh, all the ground beef in the in the refrigerator. So um, very full weekend uh, after a very busy week and uh, there we are. One of the things in the midst of all of that that we continue to do faithfully is to pray for everyone on our pastoral care prayer list by name, which we will do now, let us pray. Iranio, Eric, Joni, Propacacion, Eliza, Tom A., Marianne, Nellie, Joyce, Ewell, Paula, Lydia, Velma, Jim, Bill, Judy, Lucille, John, Roxanne, Tom D, Teula, Ruth, Catalina, Maggie, Shirley, Cindy F, Dolores, Matt, Catherine, Robert, Jacinta, David, Michael, Jose, Lila, Gary, Jan, Lehua, Serene, Chat, Elizabeth, Ryder, Mercedes, Lisa, Marilyn, Ernesto, Randall, Marie, Dale, Rochelle, Chris, Alfredo R., Brian, Sandy, Cora S., Barbara, Charlesta, Brianna, Dan, Gabby, Lynn, Tomo, Kathy. 
O God of heavenly powers, <laughs> by the might of your command, you drive away from our bodies all sickness and all infirmity. Be present in your goodness with your servants, that their weaknesses may be banished and their strength restored, and that their health being renewed, they may bless your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, we've been uh, taking you on tours around different places in the, uh, on the church grounds, but this week I'd like to try something a little bit different. Um, I'd like to, hang on, <coughs> Ooh, bless me, uh, Dixie and I um, over the years have bought uh, different Lego kits and uh, we <laughs> we've uh, enjoyed putting to get them together i i started on that kick when i was teaching at the priory in 2010 and uh, i i still love to put them together dixie loves to put them together i um i did a, a scenic view of london i did a picture of van gogh uh, painting starry night dixie's been doing all these uh, succulents and plants and flowers uh, she also put together a dragon for the year of the dragon and um, right now I'm working on the great wave of Kanagawa which Dan and Lauren Dixie's son and daughter-in-law got for me for Christmas so that's a very relaxing thing to do and just sort of uh, take uh, take one's mind off things we um, we don't of course have anywhere in our house to put any of these displayed items so what did we do we brought them over to the St. Matthew's <laughs> conference room and they're <laughs> decorating uh, all of that so we've been having we've been having great fun I realize uh, brothers and sisters that uh, we are going to be gone from May 7th to May 24th uh, Dixie and I are going to Florence Italy for some R&R &R after the Easter holiday and uh, because of that uh, we won't be having chicken scratch during the time while we're away and while we're away one of the people who comes up uh, that we honor here at Good Shepherd is Queen Lili'u Okalani, the last reigning monarch of Hawaii. A general convention there um, in June, there is a resolution to include her on the Lesser Feasts and Fast calendar. Uh, we'll see whether or not that prevails. Uh, her death anniversary is November the 11th, Veterans Day. Um, and uh, many churches in the diocese uh, honor her on that day. I like to uh, remember her on her uh, the baptis anniversary of her baptism and confirmation uh, as an Episcopalian, and that that happens in May. But like I say, will will be gone um, in May. Uh, the reason she is in lesser feasts and fasts is because after the overthrow of the Hawaiian monarchy, she became an Episcopalian because um, she had gone to Kauai Hao Church, but the people there, uh, many many of them were responsible for her overthrow, and so uh, the minister there did not reach out to her when she was under house arrest at Washington Place, which is right next door to St. Andrew's Cathedral. So Bishop Willis uh, would often call on the Queen by going through the gate to see how she was doing. She was so grateful uh, that she joined the Cathedral of St. Andrew, was a member there until she died. And uh, her funeral uh, was read from the Book of Common Prayer. So um, we, we do honor her. Peter, Peter Lee uh, likes to tell a story about um, how Queen Liliuokalani would, um, she loved children, you know, so she, um, she would sew pockets into the hem of her holoku and she would put little candies inside the pockets and then when the kids uh, would see her they would run up and try to take the candy out of the hem of her dress and it reminded me of this chicken uh, that we saw outside one day 
uh, mother hen who was sort of puffed up and had all these little chicks around her just like Queen Liliokalani had all these kids around her and so we would like to name the chicken of the week Liliokalani. Congratulations to you. Thank you for being chicken of the week. Take care everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.